The Property Clause of the U.S. Constitution gives Congress the power to regulate public lands. Can Congress impliedly delegate this power to the executive branch? The United States Supreme Court tackled this question in United States versus Midwest Oil Company. In 1897, Congress enacted the Oil Placer Act, allowing any United States citizen to search for oil on federal land. A person who found oil could pay a nominal amount for the land and extract an unlimited amount of oil. In 1909, the United States Geological Survey issued a warning that soon all federal land containing oil would be privately owned. If this happened, there would be no federal land left from which oil could be extracted for use by the Navy. Therefore, the report recommended that the federal government suspend all oil claims in California. Based on the report, the president issued a proclamation temporarily withdrawing large swaths of public land in California and Wyoming from public acquisition. Congress didn't object to the withdrawal. Six months later, Midwest Oil Company took possession of a tract of withdrawn Wyoming land and extracted a large amount of oil. The government sued Midwest Oil in federal district court, seeking to recover both the land and the extracted oil. Midwest Oil moved to dismiss, arguing that the president didn't have the power to override Congress by withdrawing the land. The district court dismissed the case and the government appealed to the Eighth Circuit. The Eighth Circuit certified the case to the United States Supreme Court.